Welcome back, and we've been joined for Art Display by a passionate painter who's famous for her mind-blowing pencil drawings. Yes, pencil indeed. And you'll find out what, what else. Uh, Clara Aiden is here to tell us more about her art pieces and a host of other interesting stuff. Clara, you are welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yes, indeed. You and your panda here. bear. Oh, poor bear. <laughs> what did it do? Why did you... I'm joking. <laughs> I know. Good to have you here, Clara. Thank you. And we're surrounded with your artwork, and I find them very, very interesting. And I'm going to be asking you very specific questions about no. each and every one of them. But first mm -hmm. of all, how would you define your kind of art? What is it? What definition? What would you say it is? I grew up in a country whereby a female child exploring the world of art is seen as uh, peculiar okay. or unusual. So, you know, right from my kindergarten, Drawing has been my passion. Mm, nice. In fact, it's been something I've been uh, doing uh, right from my childhood and, uh, you know, with the support of my parents. Because actually, my father wanted me to be a nurse. Yes, yes. <laughs> Trust me. Whoa. But my mom, she just uh, said, no, 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 no. Just let my daughter Follow be. Follow your passion. And, uh, you know, with that passion, it's, it's what keeps me going on. That's fantastic. The persistence. Did you grow up here in Nigeria? Yeah, okay. I'm a Nigerian. Yeah, exactly. Actually, fantastic. my real name is Elizabeth Omolara. Omolara. Adenugba. Okay, yes. that's nice. Why did so, you change it? Yeah, the Clara Aden is like a brand. It's like nice. a, a signature. I get it. For I my artwork. It. So I decided to go by that name. So it was coined mm. from abbreviation of my surname okay. and my... Uh, it's fantastic. Know. It's good. Let's take a look at these art pieces we have here. Uh, first of all, yeah. what are they called individually? This, this, and that. What yeah. is this? This, this is a series. Oh, I can um, tell. I, I, I made this work during the uh, COVID-19 uh, lockdown, you mm. know, where everybody would be locked down. And uh, I saw this uh, call for uh, artists, international artists. And uh, when I saw the invitation, they asked me to submit my work. You know, based on the team, they said, um, I know, art, art plus technology, that, mm. you know, how do we see it? What, what is your own input? Nice. You know, so I, I get it now. So I decided to explore, uh, you know, the, the, the area of which, you know, the, the, the technological advanced world is like, you know, it will get to a state like if you are somebody, you know, behind the technology, it's like you are wearing a kind of power. Yeah. You know, it's like mm -hmm. you feel as if you are the creator. You are, you are above yeah. everything else. Man so, playing God. Yes, man yeah. playing God. So, mm -hmm. so in a way, I, I decided to create this series. I call it the Power Series. The Power Series. I see that yes, there is the a power series. there is a unique um, uh, nice about them. What's with the compact disc? Is yeah. that a is compact disc? Yeah, in there? The, the compact disc is more like uh, a signature for me too. Yeah, because I noticed. If you see, <laughs> you know, most of my works, I put it there, and it's like uh, the whole idea is. Um, you know, when we see some objects, we just feel that these objects are out of use. Yeah. You know, so I believe there's no object that is out of use. Everything you see around it's reusable. you, you can use uh, it. So I, I also noticed that uh, the paintings here are actually done by you. They're not printed on. They're no, no, actually no, no, your... No, no, no. You said that is what charcoal. now? Charcoal. charcoal. Charcoal, yeah. All charcoal. of them, huh? Yeah. Are these specific charcoal. people because they look alike? Yes, they are different, different people. Oh. And if you look at the way I, I, I put it, like the, the first piece... Mm -hmm. This particular one, in the you middle. know, I'm trying to say, okay, uh, when you have too much power, mm. don't allow it to go into your head. Don't let it get to your head. If you get to your head, it can be very destructive. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you can misbehave if you are not careful. Mm. You know, and that you, one there is asking then you this to... This one, you can see it's on the palm. Yeah. You know, when you have so much power, be very mindful the way you wear it. Nice, nice. You know. So the, the other one, too, that one too is in the head. Everything is in the head. Don't well, allow it to head. go into your head. Don't let it get to your head. Let's move yes. on to the big piece here we have right in the middle. There's so, two figures yeah. uh, without their faces showing and plenty of writing. If you can't see from home, it's surrounded by plenty of writings. I, I think that must, might, might have taken you a while to yeah, complete, yeah. didn't it? I, the, 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 the whole idea is because as an artist, I believe you should have uh, the ability to explore whatever media. Mm -hmm. Whatever medium they give you, you should be able, you know, to work with any medium. Don't limit yourself to a particular uh, mm -hmm. art. For me, I love drawing so much, but that doesn't mean I should not explore other medium, other mm -hmm. areas. Too. So during that lockdown, too, I decided to work on another technique. Uh, is a topographic. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Technique. I can see that. If you look at, the, I did not paint. Hang I on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything is words. I just realized everything is words. That everything is. 
made out Letter. of words, Letter. letters yes. put together yes. to make the figures. Yes. I'm only just realizing <laughs> that is fantastic. Everything is letters. And uh, wow. the title of the work is Close the Gap. Nice. Very, yeah. very beautiful. Well, that, that exploration yes. got you if, someplace. If, That's very nice. If you look at the first, the, this side. The, the figure, yeah, yeah on the is, right. Is, is a, a female, a yeah. female hand. Then the other one is a male hand. Mm. So the whole idea is that I'm trying to... You know, they were saying that before the gender parity will be mm. closed, we'll be 2033. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. We cannot wait till then. Yeah. You know, we All women, right. we need to push forward. We need to continue to mm. uh, use our art, you know, speak about it. Okay. So that so we'll, we'll Talking about it. speaking about that art, yeah. my best piece is this beautiful <laughs> one here with the lady backing us and the yeah. technology all around her, the even inside of her. And everything that you've used on there, I can see pieces of wire, little boats and nuts and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, metal scraps. Talk us through that. What's it called? It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the title is Cyborg Evolution. Cyborg, I can see that, you Evolution. see. That's nice. Actually, What's I, your fascination I with... I as a muse. Ah, okay. Uh, the whole idea is this. I read an article because for me, uh, researching, you know, plays a very significant role in my practice. So I, I read a lot. I do research a lot. I, I go online. Mm -hmm. So I stumbled on this article about uh, two cyborg artists. Where mm -hmm. uh, his name is uh, Abizin, Nel Abizin and uh, Moon Ribaz. You see these two artists, uh, what they were trying to do with what they do, they have an implant. Mm -hmm. The first of them had an, an implant in the brain. Mm -hmm. Then the other girl has an implant on her elbow. So they tried to, uh, they had a performance in New York. That was in uh, 2014. Uh, you know, trying to explore how transform uh, technological bodies, mm. you know, the way they can alter art. So that thing keeps me wondering that, oh my God, <laughs> cyborg artist, <laughs> you know, it's becoming a reality. That's you nice. know, all this is made possible by technology. But, you know, it that keeps me to wonder that, okay, what's going to happen to, what's the future of uh, creative people? You know, like, you know, actors, I mean, artists, curators, mm. you know, you know, art collectors, what will be their fate? You know, if we keep on having cyborg artists, what is actually going to happen? So, but in a way, I just feel well. Well, I too, I will wonder about it. What is the future? What is going to look? And it birthed you know, this about. art piece so here. That was our inspiration. It's beautiful. I mean, your inspiration see, comes from. One, I yes. Oh, that is you then. Huh? Muse, yes. Okay. I that is beautiful. And then you can see the other cyborg. You know. Do you, do you sell your pieces? Uh, and does it does it make you plenty of money? Yeah, I do exhibitions. <laughs> I just finished oh. a recent one at uh, the content at uh, yeah. Adam and Eve, and it was, uh, you know, it was a massive uh, nice. That's beautiful. Success. And so uh, basically, for me, I I, I exhibit mm. and I showcase my. We're work showing some more there. of your work on television. There, yeah. you can see it, and everything centers around this technology thing. Yeah. I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> um, you must be a child from the 80s or early 90s, or early, early 90s, because. That's when that revolution of technology, cyborg, and everything uh, came through. I see another, what do you call that kind yeah, of? Yeah, that work is, I believe I can fly. Oh, nice. It's also Beautiful. a typography work. Typo, yeah, typography yeah. work. You can see like. the girl. Uh, she ah, and that's the market. It. I love markets. I think markets yeah, are that's a bit, very beautiful. Market. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Markets are a very interesting place because you can draw inspiration from the people, a their lot, lives. They lot. come in from different places and they have their own stories and they convene inside of the market. A so lot. if you were to sit down inside of a market, you'd be surprised how many of these inspirations come your way. The yeah. people, the way they speak, the smells, the sights, the color and everything. In fact, that picture, if you look at it very well, the lady backing the girl, I mean, the lady backing the baby yes. is pulling the shawl mm. of the customer. But, but whereas the, the woman did not know how the shawl was falling off. Okay. They never knew, but it was the baby that was pulling it. You know, that is so it real life. Little by little. <laughs> I, I was watching this and I was smiling. Is that a pencil drawing? This one we're looking at now. Yeah, that is uh, dignity in labor. That uh, is so defined. Yeah, it's a, it's a charcoal drawing. I, I did that during the lockdown. You did a lot during the lockdown, but yeah. how much would a drawing like that cost? Um, it depends. It depends on. Uh, you that you want to collect, mm -hmm. you know, at times uh, you can budget, let's say, between uh, 150 to 50. Wow, I need to start, I need to start my art back again, because oh. I used to be able to, but I ah, left that need, a long you time. You need to go back, you need yeah. to go back. I started speaking instead of drawing No, stuff. no, you, you, you're also in, in, in the you know, In the art sphere, uh, yeah. yeah so, yeah, too. indeed, you've got such beautiful work, and it's, it's so beautiful, and I, I enjoy just being around them, and it's also inspiring me as well. What yeah. should we look forward 
forward to seeing in the near future with your art? Yeah, uh, next year, I, I hope I have a lot to do. Uh, you know, uh, first and foremost, I want to learn a new language. Nice. Yeah. It's what very, would it be? Very, Mandarin, very, very German? No, German. German? Yes. Nice. Why German? Do you have plans to go there and exhibit your stuff? Uh, yes. That's I have uh, in uh, 2023. Okay. Yeah, it's like I have a program and I, it's, it's a must for me, at least maybe to interact. Okay. You know, right. very well. Well, that's, so. that's beautiful. That's beautiful.